With the new Teespring, or now Spring, you can actually create a storefront and create your own custom domain, which is really, really cool because a lot of people just sell stuff through the website's domain, but now you can create a domain for whatever you want. If you want to sell happytshirts.co.uk, as long as that domain is available, you can sell t-shirts through it. Now, you have two options for this. Option number one is you can buy a domain directly through Spring and connect it. And don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. And option number two is you can buy a domain separately on another website and then connect it up. And again, don't worry, I will show you how to do that. I wanted to make this video to warn you to never ever go with option number one, which was buying the domain directly through Spring and then connecting it. And the reason for that is it's ludicrously expensive. Like, I don't even understand why anyone would do it. It's so blatantly obvious that they are ripping you off. So firstly, let me show you here on the computer what you shouldn't do. If you were just gonna do option one, which was buying a domain directly on Spring and connecting it, this is how you would do it. You would go to your Spring dashboard, you'd go to stores over here on the left-hand side, and you would click add custom domain. After clicking that, it would take you to this. Right, and now you can search for something. So let's just search for, I don't know, the funny tea shop. The funny tea shop, okay, and click search. Oh, we need to do .com, all right, fine. The funny tea shop .com. Let's have a look, brilliant. Okay, so it is available, the funny tea shop .com, for $19.99 per year. The funny tea shop .org is $21.99. The funny tea shop .shop, which is weird because .org, .shop, and .store are a lot less popular when it comes to ranking them on Google, and anyone who does SEO will know that. However, someone who is just, oh, I'm gonna buy a domain on, on Spring, they see, oh, it ends in shop. That sounds really cool. I'm gonna go for that. Even though it's actually detrimental for their store and it's not a good thing, but Teespring know that people don't realize this and they charge $45 for it or $46 for it. Oh, you sneaky bastards, you. Right, and then you've got all the other things, .online, .net, .clothing, .co, .me, .shopping. So what you do is you would just continue to check out, you would buy it, and brilliant, right? It pretty much, is, it pretty much connects automatically in your stores, right? It just connects really, really simply. I mean, you see how much it costs, $19.99. It's a total joke. And the fact that they're selling some domains for $45 or $46, it's ridiculous. So let me show you option number two, and that is buying it on a separate website and then connecting it up. So for example, let's go to GoDaddy. Now I have no affiliation with GoDaddy. You can use any website that sells domains, but let's just put it in here thefunnytshop.com, and you can see I've searched this, right? And if we click search domain, let's have a look at how much this costs. Thefunnytshop.com is 99p for the first year when you with a two-year registration. The second year is usually 9.99, but I'll show you when I add it to the cart. You've got .co.uk is one cents. .shop is 2.29. Thefunnyshop.club is 1.12. So if we click add to cart and we go to our cart, we'll see how much it will be in total. Right, I remember this is for two years, so we don't need any domain protection, we don't need any of this. Let's continue to cart and just go straight on and see how much it's going to cost us. So we could probably apply some sort of award. It's going to cost us 18 pounds, which is first year is 99p, second year is 17 pounds. Now that's 47% off. Now if we go for more years, it will probably get cheaper, but I don't actually know. 31% um, off, so it is getting slightly cheaper and one year will cost us 10.99, right? So let's just say, let's just compare it with one year, right? You've got one year at $19.99 or £10.99, way cheaper. And then you've also got, you know, two years, it'll cost $40, here it's only costing £18. Now in terms of dollars, I'm, I'm on like a UK pricing here, but if I change it to dollars, it would probably be around the same 18 to $20. So it's significantly cheaper, half the cost to actually use GoDaddy. And in terms of connecting it, let me quickly show you because it's not very difficult. You've got to go over here, click add a custom domain. Again, left-hand side stores, add a custom domain. And instead of searching for one here, click I already own my domain. And then you just put it in. Right now, I don't actually, I haven't bought that domain, but what would happen is I would put the domain in, which was, I think it was my funny, the funny t-shop, 
right? The funny tshop.com. I'd click continue, right? And what it would do is it would, well, it says this domain is not owned by anyone. So let me do this, a domain that is owned by me, right? And what it would do is it will take us to this page, right? Here it will take us to this page where it tells you exactly how to do it step by step. You'd have to log into your domain registrar, which for us would be GoDaddy. And once you've done that, you need to go to the DNS settings on your domain registrar and just change the C name and the A to these things. Once you've changed it to these things, you click verify connection and then it takes you to this page where it says your domain has successfully been verified. Please note it can take up to 24 hours and boom, you are ready to go. It's really that easy. So if you ever decide to actually use Spring because I don't know, you might want to, that is how you should set up a custom domain. Don't do it directly through them because you're gonna end up spending a lot more money. Again, you can use other companies like 123reg, you could use GoDaddy. There are so many different companies that sell websites for way, way cheaper. And quite frankly, I don't understand anyone that would want to use Teespring after seeing firsthand that they are literally just a money hungry company trying to make as much money from you as possible by selling you, you know, fake advertising, by charging you ridiculous amounts for a domain when you just, you know, it shouldn't cost that much for a domain. $19.99 every single year is a lot of money for a domain. And even though it comes with hosting and all that kind of stuff, so would connecting a domain up. It would come with the same benefits. So I really don't understand why someone would want to use Teespring with their own domains. And like I said, I don't understand anyone that would want to use Teespring after realizing that all they want is your money. They don't actually care about your business or you at all. Either way, I'm not surprised. It is Spring after all, but that is how you would connect the domain. I just wanted to quickly make everyone aware of the best way to connect a domain with Spring. Hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in next week's video.